Chiba. We give the viewers what they want. Chiba finally hitting our final. Our final target. The all-time high. 4,000 millionths of a cent. I don't know. I'm just going to refer to it in the thousands. 4,000. Uh, hitting that level today. Pushing up a new all-time high. We've seen sellers come in. But this close is going to be more important to Shiba than Bitcoin's close today will be to Bitcoin. Closing above its all-time high is going to be a nice sign of strength. We're going to be looking for our measured moves to the upside. 4,700. As you can see, we've been waiting on this for a while. We may see if we look at a more macro picture here. Yo, Tom, An interruption. Take your time, but can you November. Everything I said is about November. Um... And we zoom out of Shiba and we look at more of a macro picture. This is on FTX. I'm not sure if this is the longest running history, but it's the longest one I've found. A more macro picture it might be aiming up in the 6,000s, 6,500 for the 1618. And I believe our two, though, I've since deleted, it looks like, our fib. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Right around there. 8,500 for our measured move. These would be great profit-taking targets. We've seen the Fibonacci tool used in this way many, many times. And many, many times has shown us excellent taking profit targets. It doesn't mean you need to dump all out. Just as we said on the way up here with Shiba, it's not the it's not a jump in, jump out thing. Um, trading in general in crypto. I think it's done best slowly and in pieces. And those 6,000-ish, 6,600... 8,500, probably good good spots to lock in a little bit of profit if you haven't. We'll take a look at our weekly close for the SHIB. For the SHIB. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. As I said, this weekly close is going to be more interesting to me, honestly, than Bitcoin's. As Bitcoin kind of just backtesting that weekly resistance. Shiba looking to close the highest weekly candle on FTX. Looking to close possibly above its all-time high, I think that would be the more ideal scenario to get that close on the weekly. We're fighting with it into these last few hours of the week. We can see it's just under 4,000 on FTX. And now, it's literally, I was talking, we can put this on like the five minute. Just a second ago, it was above its all-time high. Now it's back below its previous all-time high. This is pretty typical of crypto charts when they do break to new highs. We see kind of a an indecision messing around i'll say messing around messing around candle afterwards or into the close above the high below the high will it won't it kind of thing i think a close above definitely going to be a better signal however a close below granted same as bitcoin without some exception of extreme volatility out of nowhere this is looking for a pretty solid close uh, on the monthly this is just going to be a giant green candle with a tiny wick there we go that's not a bad chart. So we have up in the YouTube chat live a poll. Is shit bearish or bullish? Kind of a silly question when you're looking at this candle, but please go ahead and answer it. Let me know how you're feeling. Um, would not surprise me to see those extended targets hit as this bull market continues. Would not. Shib traded sideways, let's see, for about 140 days before making this rally. And this is, is crypto. Welcome to crypto. If you've never been in crypto, welcome to crypto. A lot of boring with some very exciting explosions in between. And then typically back to boring. Um, I think I can be confident enough here to say close below the all-time high. You may be in store for some more of that boring, some more of that consolidation. Close above and we may get kind of more of a spicy week ahead here for SHIB. I think it's going to come down... Maybe even to the last minute here on the weekly close. I'm going to put an alert. May come into the, the last minute. We may see it very close to this 4,000 range. That would actually be very likely or probable in my opinion. If you're uh, looking to invest in Shiba, same thing as everything, guys. Wait for pullbacks. Look for support. Jumping in at the top of a green candle typically does not go well. So where might we look for support? We saw at the beginning of October... Our resistance on the daily was tested at just about 3,500. Today has traded up above. And now we may look for a back test there of support. If it holds, our measured moves become very probable. Uh, that would be a much more favorable entry, in my opinion, than jumping in 
right at 4,000 now here. Uh, it's maybe a 15% discount. 12.8, 13%. Every percent matters. Percents matter. So careful there. It, as this goes say we do see a good close here we continue to see shiva rise throughout the week next week there's going to be a lot of people jumping in on the top of green candles and i urge you I beg you not to be one of them don't be one of them. don't be top buyers pullbacks always come they always come and when they don't come that means you know you don't want to be in the asset because something bad is on the way i'm going to say this is actually a pretty healthy pretty healthy move here we saw that long consolidation period building up a base of support a move to resistance consolidation on support and now a move to all-time highs a little consolidation here and a move up again would fit what we expect of a crypto chart pretty well pretty well if we get a close above the all-time high we may see uh we may see a quicker move to the upside before a back testing consolidation above the high again that would be pretty expected my eyes will be set at that 34 4 range i'm even going to put an alert because that will likely be the the uh, better entry than right here flirting with the weekly close and the all-time high close so let's go back to actually mm, i want to look at our indicators because i haven't bullish divergence played out on the daily macd momentum's up but this is just one candle on the daily i don't trust single candles on macd we need to close that see some of that follow through on the daily market cipher actually looking solid here for shiba putting in a higher high locally for money flow vwap is up by the way market cipher uh link is in the live chat pinned to the top with we have a promo code for a discount there on market cipher for anyone looking to use it promo code is just crown use that link use the promo code get 15 percent off it's a shilling kind of day weekly we don't have enough data for and we won't certainly for the monthly we will zoom in kind of like lower time frames this has been pretty spicy uh we had about 20 a 24 hour period of shiba climbing in this four hour candle with one more left in the week we saw a pretty savage selling event this is why we don't buy the top of green candles this is why we wait for price to move to us be picky be picky with trading don't move to price let the price move to you and that's true of all assets uh and this is a great example of why i'm sure many people jumped in as soon as it broke the all-time high only to see that spooky four-hour candle not gonna lie there's some buying pressure there there's a solid wick under that candle and that was pretty significant uh from dang that was very significant from its high in this four hour it has reached it has moved back 25 percent to the downside and back up to the alta here we go flirting again at that four thousand level uh this is the very will it won't it stressful kind of situation to be in i will say for the shiba lovers out there this wick looking pretty good that's a pretty solid back test of that local four hour high we saw on the seventh just find buyers there that's that's what you want that's what you want you want to find buyers you want to establish a floor price and what actually is kind of interesting here catching my eye as i say it bars pattern one of our favorite tools interesting that's like a pretty similar already that might fit what we know what we expect here to play out quicker a move to the upside as we saw before a pretty violent pullback consolidation into a symmetrical triangle and broke to the upside maybe we already have that painting out here these look pretty similar to me time will tell well the four things are still looking decent things are still looking decent on on our lower time frames you are under threat of bearish divergence as your rsi is not reached as high as it did earlier in october with a good close here and a green candle into the close on the weekly that might be invalidated so this is an interesting chart to say the least whenever anything really breaks the all-time high that had its previous all-time high with a large market cap it's at least worth looking at right let's look at the corn 